a very straightforward consideration that has probably multiple problems. So that here's a genetic defect that I'm considering correcting ex vivo out of the body to re-inject back in, like the sickle cell experiments in the mouse. And let me tell you, when I attend on the internal medicine service in University Hospital, almost every time I see one or two patients with sickle cell disease who are drug addicts to control all the complications of sickle cell disease and the transplantation that occurs related to that. And to think we could take young kids with sickle cell disease before they have all the complications and correct that hemoglobin defect by using some of their cells, maybe from the skin or even from their fat, and re-injecting those someday to correct their, their anemia is a wonderful thought as a doctor. Let me tell you, I think the potential for adult stem cells to be successfully used is really quite exciting. Yes? Oh, oh, sure. And I think leukemia is one of the examples of where stem cell research is ongoing right now. Those are bone marrow derived stem cells. That's thunder, isn't it? Not, okay. I thought it was my, my palm or something interacting. But uh, the idea there is, 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 is to treat those patients with heavy dose chemotherapy and then ultimately having identified stem cells before the heavy dose chemotherapy and then re-injecting those stem cells back in to create normal blood cells. That's current therapy. That's current state of the art. But that's bone marrow derived stem cells that can only make other, other blood cells. That's their own bone marrow? That's their own bone marrow, yes. In fact, my late wife uh, underwent, she had breast cancer, metastatic breast cancer, and we went through um, uh, a bone marrow transplant for her. And the concept there is the same, that there are you harvest cells from a patient before you give them heavy dose chemotherapy. And then the chemotherapy kills the malignant cells. And then you replace that with normal cells to follow. She obviously was not successfully treated. Now bone marrow transplantation for solid tumors is almost history. Nobody's doing it anymore. Because you, you couldn't really cure the cancer with heavy dose chemotherapy. That's not a failure of normal stem cells to be differentiated into normal blood cells. It's a failure to cure the cancer. But with liquid tumors, and when I say liquid tumors, I'm talking about lymphoma or leukemia, their chemotherapy can be very successful because the solid tumors really kind of grow out of a different niche and chemotherapy is not as successful. That has not been a very, advent it's been a very adventurous but not a very successful adventure down the pathway of stem cell research. But effectively, that's what it is. Yes, sir. Well, I was just wondering, before we talked about induced pluripotent cells. Correct. There were multi-potent cells. Right. And you just mentioned cells. Right. You could make many types of blood cells right. from a multi-potent stem cell. Correct. So suppose induced pluripotency doesn't work out. Well, we go back to saying multi-potent cells. Possible. Right. Many different sources could still be an expert. That's correct. And, and clearly, multipotent stem cells are being used currently to treat, again, liquid tumors, like, like leukemias and lymphomas. You're absolutely correct. But the idea of making a pluripotent cell that has a greater capability of forming you know, cells which it wasn't you know, doing beforehand is, is really, I think, much more broadly capable of being a successful medicinal therapy. But multipotents still can can be a promise for the future. Well, I think uh, we're going to stop there. And then why don't we turn to the Lord in prayer as we close tonight. Father, we're thankful that you've been present in this uh, room and, and have been uh, guiding us through the truth of what this topic before us. And there are some unanswered uh, questions here that we don't all have perfect answers for. But we think you have given us enough guidance to take us scientifically forward to bring the glory to you if successes occur using adult stem cells to modify the disorders we many are exposed to uh, as adults as we uh, continue down the path of life. We thank you for the wisdom to move forward and have the Holy Spirit to guide us in direction. And we trust that there are, there are potentially great successes that lie ahead, but we also know that you will ultimately work through the power of your body to make us be cautious about considering 
steps that would encourage abortion, that would encourage death in the test tube, that would, in, it would, it would encourage anything that would be not consistent with your perfect plan of what human life is all about. We give you all the glory for anything that's done that is consistent with your principles and your great truth. In the Lord Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Okay.